Hey folks, Lyari here. So today we're going to be wa watching old websites for cooler, actually, by Astrocyst. I'm a big fan of Comic Sans and Rainbows, so I'm excited. Let's go. Remember websites like this? No, you, you probably don't because you're like 15. Nostalgic pages formulated. I'm 24. I do. Kind of. Late, late end. I've been on the internet since I was like six. My mind is rot. Sorry. In basic HTML. Silly GIFs and wacky website designs. If you saw a website like this today, you would assume you're old. Also, I played Hypnospace Outlaw. Very good game. Old Uncle Larry just got a computer and is trying to figure out how to make a website for his side hustle where he whittles pieces of wood to look like forest animals. Nowadays, we get horrid sites like this. Websites where you just sort of physically cringe when you look at yes. them. Web two I thought that was going to be an ad read. I'm not going to lie. And then it was like insult. Point oh, ushered a lot of this stuff into existence. Social media pages where a million people are screaming at once, letting you know about everything they do. Each drop of poop in the toilet, every Topical. selfie, each waking thought. The internet was wasn't always like that though. Before the 2000s ushered in a wave of junk, the internet had websites like spacejam.com, which you can actually Wait, if you exhaust the basketball related resources of the Space Jam website, may we suggest these other locations where you can indulge your interest? <gasps> Sorry. Very dramatic. Defined by going to spacejam.com slash 1996, at least at the time of making this video. So that's cool. It, at least it fits the backgrounds. I can stare at this website late night at 3 a.m. and shed a single tear. In this video, I sort of just want to go through cool website designs. Old websites that are forgotten to the past. This is nostalgic. Show you some gross, ugly modern websites, too, plagued by a homogenous UI and rotted with social media features. So let's reminisce a bit. Welcome to Pepsi World. <gasps> <laughs> this website Pepsi man iconic genuinely looks like a joke if you were to see a website like this now you would assume this was ironic right you wouldn't believe that this was real but this is what the 90s look like and honestly this is kind of fucking cool <laughs> there's some aesthetic here a website would never look like this now in fact if we take a look at pepsi.com right now okay you know it looks like a a, a, a mobile site almost you know you have these I, drop downs with this ui i think this is okay it's modern it's a little boring but like it the color scheme works whatever and i mean it's kind of fancy i mean they got some like ah. cool javascript going if i had ad block off i'd probably get be getting 19 ads to uh buy Pepsi. oh wait 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 there's only two ads. Ublock Origin has the two in the top. Wait, I should point up. In the top left. <laughs> see Max Zero or whatever. Scroll down through the website and you just see these ads and commercials are playing and it's just, you're just spammed with flashy little bubbly UI popping through the screen. But Pepsi World. That this isn't flashy. That was kind of cool, huh? <laughs> if you have the Shockwave plugin, click here. I wonder what happens if we click here. <laughs> Oh, okay. <laughs> that looks, that looks correct. This website that I'm using to view this, by the way, is called the uh, the Wayback Machine web.archive.org, which is a great way to look at really old snapshots of websites. Honestly, this is probably one of the greatest ways to archive web history ever. You can put in any website and then just find snapshots from different points in time. Like I guess here's one from 2013. You can see that people have stopped snapshotting. The website probably because it's not fucking interesting to look at pepsi.com anymore <laughs> i clicked on uh, some random pepsi snapshot from like 2003 and now I'm i've actually never seen that like most websites i see actually have like good like amount of captures that's crazy my entire computer looks like it's downloading a virus um <laughs> everything's just flashing <laughs> Pepsi! <laughs> Give me back my computer! Pairing modern UI to old UI is kind of an interesting debate. Some people would prefer the new, some people prefer the old. Take a look at YouTube, for example. Which, by the way, they recently added this super thanks button. This is how I integrate a plug into the video. Isn't that funny? I, I don't have that enabled, but you should totally subscribe. Or like. <laughs> You can click this button and then you can you can give a little tip if you like the video. This is actually kind of cool because I don't make like any money from YouTube. Uh, so subscribe to my Patreon and give me a super thanks. YouTube's page has always Respect sort of looked Respect though. This guy's cool. Right? I mean, the UI has updated a bit, but the biggest change is on the actual page itself. I've grown to sort of like how this page has evolved. In fact, I'm not that unhappy about the modern UI layout. There was a time period where it was much worse before they kind of fleshed it out, but it's gotten a little better. I agree. Like when I was looking at it, like I remember because I've used YouTube on and off for a few years, like nine. Um, 
it's definitely gotten better. Like, I would think that my current YouTube channel looks, like, decent. And I, like, suck at, like, like it's all self-designed except for all the free use images I use. <laughs> so, I suck. Um, yeah. YouTube's page used to look like this. This is around, like, you know, 2012, 2011. I guess this is, yeah, February 29th, 2012. You could really customize the look of your page. I mean, this is already way past Web 2.0. We're already in the age of social media and whatnot, but you could add these kind of custom sidebars. You could have a banner. You could really customize your page. You could change the color of all these backgrounds of all the text modules. I, I didn't use YouTube in this era. This is pretty cool. I like this. Modern UI has really moved away from this. There's not as much customizability. That's sick. I like that. By the way, Dunky was doing vaporwave aesthetics in like 2012. Holy shit. Look at this. <laughs> it's kind of a shame that on, you know, modern YouTube. Wait, I literally was on YouTube then. I was because I didn't go on channel pages. YouTube or modern Twitter or whatever, there's not as much of this customizability. It'd be cool to make all of my social media pages look as customizable as I want it. I want to put like mm -hmm. random drawings on the side and just fucking buttons. I want it to look like you got hacked when you go onto my YouTube page. This isn't a website I particularly frequented uh, when I was young. I just asked you guys on Twitter to give me <laughs> funny old websites. <laughs> look at this guy with the handlebar must. It just says hunger. <laughs> hunger. hunger. <laughs> Where is this guy? Will Obneman. I don't know what this is. This might be a cult. This one might actually be ironic. I'm not sure. This one might be ironic. This is from 2006. Oh, my CPU interval is at 6 milliseconds. Holy shit, that's really good. Whatever happened to the good old days, man? When they let me drive my Mercedes, my red Mercedes through the page. <laughs> Why okay. can't I do this anymore, huh? This makes me want to cry. <laughs> that's sick. And shit. And piss. And vo vomit. Really any bodily fluids. It's coming out. <laughs> just, this is just sad. I hated that. Like, the Minecraft page. Yikes. Had to look at. I mean, this is just, this is just sad. But no, I love Neopets. False. Websites don't want to look like this anymore because I guess they feel it's old or whatever. Oh, okay. He was saying it's good. Yes. Okay, yes. This is a banger. I love it so much. It just makes me think about how logos in general or UI design in general has gotten much less creative. I mean, look at Google's logo. You go from this, like, wacky 90s shit to just the letter G. It's just the Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, okay, I, I think the letter G is kind of cool because it uses, like, five colors and it, like, switches through them pretty quick or whatever. But my favorite was this. I like exclamation marks letter g man that's it that's all you need just a fucking g and this is more colorful than like most logos in existence <laughs> fucking advertisement what is this even trying to give me this would take me a whole year to read like they're overlaying in car insurance <laughs> also probably insurance in general i can't even see anything personal at monthly uh, like, wait, i actually kind of disagree like like straight up like look at this it kind of like, it captures your eye with insurance, and it's like, what the f And then you start reading the rest of the stuff, and it's like, oh, they also do medical expenses twice, apparently. Cool. They're overlaying it. I can't even see anything. Personal, at monthly, uh, IS, IS stay for charge personal. Yeah. I'll buy it right now. It's mine. Give me. I remember the fuck out of these things. I used to own one of these. It was so cool. I don't even know what it did. I don't even know if I ever plugged it into the computer, to but it looked cool. <laughs> Nowadays, if a company made this, it would for sure, like, install adware on your computer and survey you. Okay, this is one... I mean, yeah, I feel like it did back then, too, half the time, but I guess it wasn't as advanced. Example where I don't think we should go back. We should not go back to this. Also, this person is listening to Hooba Stank. <laughs> That's so funny. 2009 was just a different time, man. This went so hard as a soundtrack to Rock Lee vs. Gara, you have no idea. Oh my god, CartoonNetwork.com, look at this shit. Nintendo... Sorry, no sorry, oh I god. was a cartoon... This, I remember this. I, when I used Cartoon Network though, like, yeah, so I was like literally a couple years old back then. So I, um, was unable to really go on this version of the site, but I kind of vaguely remember it, I think. 
I used like the next redesign or whatever, and I think it was still pretty interesting back then. Uh, CartoonNetwork.com. Look at this shit. Nintendo.com. It's just so fun. That's I just cool. wish people made websites like this still. This just makes me want to click. Get in gear. Okay, I'll I'll get in any gear you want me to get in. I'm fucking in. Let me into the code bank. Modern UI is just boring, man. I mean, this is just this is a robot's asshole. I'm looking at the inside of a robot's asshole. I'm lubing up the metal right now. What is this? Yeah. I don't want to click a button that says purchase quick. It's blue, white font. I want to fucking click get in gear. <laughs> Everything looks like a fucking Apple computer. I mean, don't get me wrong. Some of this is slick. It yeah, like literally get quick is so like, it's quick. It can look slick, but there's something just so nostalgic. Yes. About <laughs> Roblox.com. <laughs> Fuck Google. Real gamers use far too. I mean, this is just, uh, this should be illegal. Th this UI should be literally illegal. We should strap Zuckerberg to a chair. And I went on Facebook for like the first time in like years to set up my VR because I have a quest. Don't hate me. Um, but yes, this made me want to like, like I didn't realize it was actually the UI. I thought I was just doing something wrong. <laughs> force him to stare at this screen for 96 hours actually he'd probably enjoy it he'd, he'd probably just start he'd probably he start zerking it this is probably mostly like due to the fact that web wants to kind of unify with mobile ui and so you know everyone's used to looking at things on their cell phone so why not move it over to the actual website itself me neither tom me neither. Hey, did you know that the U.S. last year spent $285 billion on ads on the internet? Huh. I mean, I guess this makes sense, but digital media accounts now for 64, over 64% of ad dollar allocation, which oh, wow. you know, just goes to show that the internet is just a corporate husk at this point. You have 10 websites that do everything, and you see ads. All, I mean, I don't see ads because I use Adblock like a real man. Honestly, I'd rather live in the age of action. I do, like, I pay for, like, YouTube premium and stuff. So, yeah. Yikes. Finally clicking on a picture that leads me to meatspin.com and getting a Trojan virus, then, you know, having to see another fucking Walmart Wonder Bread ad. And now that I've said Walmart Wonder Bread out loud, my phone is probably going to give me a bread ad next time I'm scrolling through Twitter. Like, I get it. This website looks like fucking feces, but I'd rather have this than another fucking clash of clans ad you know the fucking mobile ads on twitter where it's like <laughs> there's these mobile ads on t uh, let me pull this up have you guys seen this shit yeah it's, it's a mobile ad and it always starts out with this girl's like giant ass and then it always just turns into like a zombie advertisement i hate this shit if i see no i mean i'm gonna see ads like this now the, my phone is listening to me so i'm gonna see ads for zombie empire like all day long so what are you supposed yeah, to take out of all this I don't know. Whatever you want, really. <laughs> Maybe you like a lot of modern UI. Maybe you like the simplified web. But mm. personally, I find it a bit depressing. It's not even because I want the web to be rid of JavaScript and modern frameworks. I don't necessarily want to just return to IRC chat and play Neopets all day. But there is... Yeah, okay, I want to do that last part. That's a banger. ...sort of sadness in the modern structure of the web. Never mind the aesthetic or the nostalgia, the internet used to be a place where the user... This is so good. I remember, like, fan sites had the coolest UI. And, like, yeah, this stuff, I wish it was back for sure. Like, if, like, your little, like, favorite, like, Twitter page for, you know, like, fan rumors and stuff had, like, a look like this even, like, it'd be so much better found what they wanted to see. Once Facebook and other social media websites gave birth to the new web, the internet became a place where corporations started finding us what they want us to see, what they think we should see, what the algorithm determines we must see, not what we actually want to see. I will Today, say, it, it is also like, it's more mainstream and professional. So like, I'm not sure how much of it like, I think some people, like, I kind of like the new sites, too. They're usable, you know? So, I don't know. The internet is narrower in scope, a place of information gathering and ad revenue. Instead of finding small niche groups, we are all put in one big pool and force-fed whatever the algorithm dictates for us. This a lot of popular social media sites are based on algorithmic content, but, like, Facebook has, like, groups... I think those are like the popular thing now or it's pages i don't know pretty sure it's groups and like reddit has subreddits but like tiktok's super algorithm heavy obviously so yeah this is partly why websites are just 
less cool. Everything's homogenized. You don't get a cool forum or a specialized website. Everyone goes to the exact same website and talks about everything yeah. all at once. Good movie, by the way. I well, Twitter's kind of like that because of the trending tab. That's true. I find this sort of sad, though. I wish we could just stop something like this, but at this point, the web is monopolized. You go to YouTube to watch a video, you go to Amazon to buy a new item, and eBay to buy a used one. You go to Twitter to doom scroll, and you go to Reddit to pretend you're a 34-year-old heart surgeon with an unlimited breadth of knowledge who can never be wrong. The web is a yes. homogenized system, a monopolized net. And I just want to go back to playing Neopets, man, before they started making fucking NFTs. <laughs> Fuck my life. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay wait this is totally gonna make it not monetize or something if i play this but because i like this guy i will definitely scroll through this to see if he shouts himself out okay patreon supporter shout out sure props to these folks <laughs> i'm gonna like that video because i loved it i'm also gonna subscribe because i love this this guy seems really nice i like at least like I don't necessarily agree with all his opinions, but I like the type of content he does and what, how he edits. Anyways, I do agree with, like, parts of that, a lot of that video. I like modern UI because it's, like, more usable and stuff typically. But I do wish that it had, like, more older UI aesthetics or charm. And, like, I think there are, like, some, a few sites that are like that nowadays usually by like india or like companies and stuff like you're talking about like gaming so that's kind of neat but i don't think it's common at all and it's really more once you have like a style as you know a style and it's even still not that strong right like i feel like devolver is like one of the most like stylized um brands for like indie games and like they're obviously like pretty big now so they're probably decently corporate like, I feel like this has, like, a solid amount of charm. Like, you see so many pictures of their games. And, I mean, black and red is kind of boring, but that's, like, literally their color scheme along with, like, the white, which looks pretty good on the black. So, like, it makes sense. Like, I think this is fine. It's not afraid to, like, just throw some cool stuff at you. Propaganda. Yeah, like, it, it's good. But, um, let's read the comments. The... Yeah, I agree. Like it, it wasn't necessarily the best, but it was really interesting and neat. And there were so many cool stories. And it was weird and wacky. And people had developed enough to figure out things to do. I agree. Like I mean, obviously, that was literally when I started getting on the internet. And I mean, I also, I mostly, I would say we're like more late 2000s in terms of like really understanding the internet, but yeah. Older websites, despite how clustered they were, were also more intuitive to use than new websites. The need to hide everything in drop down menus make me, makes it hard for me to look for stuff. You never know whether the thing you're looking for is in the settings, or the three bar drop down at the very bottom of the page. This is true. This is kind of bad. Um, I can't click that in case it reveals personal stuff. But I will say like this stuff is all like site relevant stuff. Whereas this is all like your actual Google account. I'm pretty sure. And like it varies. But yeah. Yeah. Can't wait for Web 4.0, which just turns the entire internet into one website with ads embedded in every square inch. But in VR. <laughs> okay. Anyways, that was a good video. I enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. Hey, folks. Lyari here. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to like, follow on t YouTube, follow on Twitch, and I think that's it. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye. I stream Mondays in EST. <laughs>